Hey, my name's David. Uh, today I'm just going to go through some speed designs for the zombie design challenge that the future was doing uh, on their live stream. But um, if you want to do the challenge yourself, I'll link to the YouTube video in the description. Uh, it's great for yeah, practicing style framing for motion design. So that's what I'm doing here. Basically, we had to, we we're given some assets and in 20 minutes we had to apply some of the design principles that uh, Matthew talked about. The story is basically, you know, generic zombie survival zombies versus humans and to get you thinking about it you're thinking think about the the themes so the ones that i picked uh, was dangerous world now, obviously they're all pretty related but um maybe one of these will set you in a direction so yeah let's just start watching it i'll i'll talk you through as i go so the first step in in really most designs is bringing the assets in um so i i just brought them in to see what was available for me in this one um this is the dangerous world theme that I'm going for here. Uh, so I'm just bringing in the zombies, all the zombies I can find in. And the, the idea is basically there's a couple survivors and they're high up above. Maybe they're um, crossing a bridge or a platform from one building or, or uh, to another. Um, and that was the, the general idea I had going, going into this. Really simple and just see how quick we can get it out. Um, so you can see I'm duplicating a lot of zombies, change a bit of rotation to make um, make sure they're not all so monotonous. And um, yeah, give it a bit of variation to it. I figured I couldn't just have a floating um, ramp in nothing, so I made some stairs to go with it as well. <laughs> it's probably um, much easier ways to do it, but yeah, I just use masking it. And here, here I was doing a, a gradient mask overlay. Um, for some atmosphere. Yeah, pretty simple, right? On to the next one. So this one is a bit more inspired by, um, I, I was actually, because I saw some tools, like I saw some, there was some weapons in the in the assets they gave us. So I decided I'll, I'll just start with that. And the idea was basically, um, what, what if there was a setting that was built around these tools? So maybe they're in like a shed or some sort of dark environment and um, just hinting at a, a bigger, uh, a bigger story storyline. So obviously they're in so, some sort of war, and this is because of all the equipment lying on, on this wall. And I, um, when I saw the picture of the girl there, she would be my main my hero straight away because it, um, she's wearing a dress, and I think that that contrasted nicely with the brutality of the. Um, the weapons, so yeah, and just adding a bit of light interest to, I don't know, make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> it, it didn't much serve much more purpose than that than try and bring the, make the scene a bit more interesting. So this last one, I again wanted to focus a bit more on the environment. So um, choosing one of the environment pictures, the graveyard as a starting point. Um, I'm going with a cent like a, a centered um, alignment and this one is sort of a generic uh, fighting scene i think so the idea is i'll just pull in some zombies various zombies and humans fighting each other um in hinting at somewhat of battlefield but this one i didn't go into duplicating zombies everywhere i think you get the point with a couple battles and i guess the interesting thing going on there is a, a single point perspective leading towards the graveyard so um i didn't think about the meaning behind it too much but um, I guess you know this this battle is leading to um, death basically as your eyes are drawn towards the middle of the picture the graveyard um, all roads lead to death <laughs> it's a pretty pretty gruesome picture to paint but yeah um, look I hope that helped you if if it did that's fantastic I'm greedily doing this just for a bit of practice talking about my own work and um, a bit of post game analysis, I guess. So thanks for watching and, uh, hopefully see you around for another one of these.